Ever wondered why you can't tell if you have a headache or a full-blown migraine? Well, that's probably because there's no clear definition of what a migraine actually is. The International Headache Society's Classification Committee is responsible for deciding exactly what constitutes one, and the Society's South African chairperson, Dr. Elliot Chevelle, opened a can of worms when he won a debate recently against his international counterparts. He argued that the current classification of a migraine is not based on any data at all, but simply on the private and untested opinions of a small group of neurologists. Dr. Elliot Chevelle joins us now from Johannesburg. Doc, very good afternoon to you. How important was this debate? Well, it's a vital importance when one realizes that there are probably 700 million migraine sufferers across the world and that many of them are getting the wrong treatment because the classification is incorrect and the diagnosis is based on the classification and of course the treatment is based on the diagnosis. What sort of reaction have you had from your colleagues around the world in the wake of this debate? Well, first of all, um, at the actual debate, uh, the vote was for me, which was interesting because I was the only non-neurologist there, uh, so that was particularly interesting. Uh, I've had contact from uh, colleagues all over the world. There are other people who feel that the classification is not right, but no one has really challenged it to the same extent up till now. The the person that I was um, debating against, Professor Jess Olison from Denmark, is the chairman of the Headache Classification Committee and has been that since 1985. And I was fortunately able to use his own work, his own research, to show that the classification was wrong. Uh, and uh, hopefully it will lead to further advances now in changing the classification. What's your opinion as far as how a migraine should be classified? I mean, what's the difference here? Well, at present they're classified on symptoms. For instance, if a patient comes to the doctor and says, Doctor, I've got a terrible headache, it's one-sided, it's pulsating and I'm nauseous, he'll probably tell you you've got migraine. And what he's actually saying to you is you've got a one-sided headache that's pulsating and you're nauseous uh, and you've got light sensitivity. So he's telling you what you've told him. Whereas what it should be based on is where the pain is actually coming from. The diagnosis, the classification should be based on the data of where the, where the pain is coming from. And there is data, there's, there's a fortune of data available to show that the pain comes either from the muscles or the arteries or the nerves but none of that data has been taken into account in this classification and I believe that the classification should be based on scientific data instead of just a thumb suck. Do you expect a lot more research now into migraines? Beg your pardon, I didn't hear that. Do you expect to see a lot more research into migraines now? Well, I think there's ongoing research all the time, but hopefully the research will now be focused more on what causes the pain than on what they've been focusing up to now, which is trying to find a cause in the brain for the pain, where most of the pain is caused by the structures outside the skull. And hopefully the research will focus more on that. Why have migraines been so misunderstood for so long? The reason for that is migraine is a very complex condition. One can have the same symptoms, whether the pain comes, for instance, from the arteries in the scalp, or whether the pain comes from the muscles of the jaws and neck. The two structures can give the same symptoms. So it can be confusing, especially if both of them are involved. So we have to work out how to distinguish between where the pain comes from. Is it muscular? Is it arterial? Is it from the nerves? And only once we can distinguish the origin of the pain can we direct our treatment at the actual uh, focused treatment at the origin of the pain. And actually Professor Olison in his research showed that 60 percent 
of migraine sufferers could be treated by injections into the muscles, and yet that doesn't appear in the classification. We in South Africa at the Headache Clinic have been using that treatment for years with great success, but because it's not in the classification, doctors don't examine the muscles. Because the arterial pain is not in the classification, doctors don't examine the arteries. And if you don't examine the patient, you can't tell where the pain is coming from. So this is what we are fighting for, to get the classification to show doctors how to examine patients when they come in with headache, instead of just sitting opposite the desk and writing out a prescription. Well, Doc, congratulations for winning that debate. Let's hope it makes a difference for the millions around the world that are suffering from migraines. Thanks for coming in this afternoon.